hey what's up guys rajat here from vfx world welcome back to another very exciting tutorial today i'll show you how you can remove something from your footage those are unwanted objects by using nuke x so without wasting any time let's get started let's open nuke so this is nuke 11x uh, version so first of all you have to import our main footage just drag and drop and you can by using drag and drop your folder you can ex exactly get your own footage now press 1 on keyboard and you can see your main footage from global to input to first thing then if you press that play button you can play your footage first so just press uh, one thing <coughs> sorry just uh, do one thing that play at least once uh, before starting your exact work then it will buffer sometimes and it will if it's uh, very uh, low frames then it will not buffer so just take some time and it will buffer completely okay so now it's buffered as you can see this is a great epic movies epic movies clip I can't tell you the name otherwise the YouTube claim YouTube can claim me copyright so just leave it and now let's go to my tutorial part first we have to project settings just press S on keyboard you can drag it down and from here file size format select this one 1920 by 1816 okay so now project setting is done from here 10 to 1 okay it's great now what I have to do in this tutorial will remove this marks and this logo in his screen so just let us get started select this your main footage by pressing tab on keyboard take a planet tracker from here just like this so what is planet tracker is planet tracker is kind of a mocha tracker which can track that texture on any kind of footage so it will track really properly and very good output it can give us so now I'll track this much area so just select this planet tracker option and select this base here <coughs> and just select this marker like this and not go very far just select very little closer like uh, this much area you want no need to mark unwanted areas otherwise your track information will go wrong okay so when you're happy with this just press track forward so before starting pressing track forward I want to clarify you something that make always go to this first frame what I did right now it's get a mistake so just delete this thing and go to this first frame and do the same thing so just same thing I have to do here just go to this like this the basic idea is the first frame is visible very properly in my case so don't need to worry about you can uh, select from any kind of frames but I preferred from first frame or last frame okay so now when you're happy with this just press track forward so the track forward process is taking little bit time so when the track will complete I'll get back to you cool so now track is happening properly so see it's track done okay now next thing is just go to the first frame and uh, press this option which name is set current frame to reference frame which is the most important part for this tutorial just press this one so it will take little time or suddenly it will happen so now my this frame is in my reference frame as in default so now select this one and we have to generate the corner pin 2d data relative so just select this one when you select this you will get your own 2d corner pin data now select this and release it tools and just press it like this connect it from here now what I have to do you can make your own clean plate on nuke by using roto paint node but I preferred Photoshop so I already uh, done one just I will show you how you can do just open Photoshop zoom it and take that clone stamp tool and you can start removing these things from here you have to make a really hundred percent job for this part otherwise you if you zoom it out you can see those patches and you will exactly not get that proper output so just leave it like this and I already have done once just closing my Photoshop 
just like this and what I already done I'm just dragging it here and you can see it this is my exactly output what I exactly did in previous so this is my exactly cleaned output where this marks is also not here so you I am doing this uh, thing in Photoshop by using patch tool and clone stamp tool so you can do your by your own what you prefer so now I just connect it, it again here and just connect it to by here and by pressing M on keyboard I'm just connected both together so when you connect this both together when you play this see the whole footage is distorting the reason is we don't have any particular specific space so just go to this first frame and zoom it here and when you press this option and press O on keyboard or take a roto node you will see through the real footage and that clean footage by passing through now take this Bezier tool and start marking the exact area you are already cleaned on your clean plate just like this so when you're happy with this just take a pre mult by pressing tab on keyboard take a pre mult when you take this pre mult here you're already 50% or not 50% 99% work is done the 1% part is left just go to this roto node select this one and just you have to do just make some feathers so it will blend on this original footage properly see like this so it's now blending okay it's actually it's a feather so now it's almost completed just like this yeah okay so the feather part is done so now when you go to the here and you, if you play this footage as you can see your track is done properly press F on keyboard for fit to screen and you can see the whole cleaning process is done and the ma main part is when you zoom here you can see the eyes are little distorting the main footage so when you cleaned up your footage see the clean plate is also distorting so this is the plus point for using a uh, planner tracker okay now we have to do the same thing for this marker but we have to track again for this area because that uh, track was for the only this much area so now guys you already know the what have to do so just uh, go a little faster so just release all these things take a planner tracker and connect it here and go to this first frame take this Bezier kind of tool and just start marking it like this when you're happy with this mark just play it forward so guys when it will complete I'll get back to you uh, when the track will complete cool so now the track is also done really really well so now I have to take the same thing go to the first frame select this option which will uh, set to the reference frame then go here corner pin 2d data release both like this come here connect it like this then the same thing control C control V I'm taking the same footage and take it's like connected here here take a free mold and then uh, sorry 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 take a roto node and just start marking it I'm just doing roughly because I don't know where the exact the uh, mark was there just connect it like this take a pre mult pre mult and this much is area next what you have to do select all these two by pressing shift on keyboard and take M on keyboard for merge and delete this and press again M connect this to here so when you connect it both together you can see your main footage is already cleaned so now what I have to do you have to fix I have to fix this uh, this roto area just a little fix it up like this like this cool actually when you're doing this my this kind of work you have to make proper alignment for every footage otherwise you will get confused when you are doing a professional work so this will help you for making your works properly so now I'm just disable this pre mult by pressing D on keyboard so now you can see this two uh, roto nodes just double click on my roto node and I just want to see the where the marks are this is my main mark see I already done the 
larger part area which is not required so I'm just decreasing this rotate area from here like this just pressing D on keyboard you can disable and enable the whole area see this area is getting out so just like this <coughs> so guys when you're happy with this roto shape I'm just doing little perfectionist and uh, everything uh, should be in perfection otherwise your output will not come properly okay so now I'm happy with this just take some feathers for blending both really well because after all this is a clean plate it's a JPEG so it will blend properly it should bend properly with that moving footage so when you complete it this thing just come here and when you play this you can see this area is also to starting with this chick and you can't find out that what is your exactly output is so this is the best plus point for nuke prep out so just play ag again so guys this is it and you can see the exact output it's looking like I'm just toggling for you so just pressing uh, one is your main view and two is my sec uh, main view and the output view see this cleaning is really really good okay so you can do one more thing which I really like this just I have done two more things here I'm just uh, showing you first the thing is uh, if you, you can re replace it by anything whatever you want so just I have already done two things you just rename it you can see those things just like this see I have uh, done this thing here and I have done this thing also here this like patches or something whatever you can say this roto node should go a little up for this patches this patch is a little bigger slightly it's like this so when you press F on keyboard you can see this marks and these two marks which are already added new one uh, by using the same thing I actually what I did in Photoshop I already uh, done these things I have a clean plate and I place those marks over in Photoshop on that same clean plate what I have done previously and I added those thing here so this is a cool thing here which I already like this you can do whatever you can want you can put anything here it's like a hole on face like a cut on face like a really nasty able things anything so but but the main focus for this tutorial is the cleaning up process by using planet tracker okay guys hope you really enjoyed this tutorial so if you really like this tutorial do comment like share and don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon for further notifications and I will see you in my next tutorial still then have fun stay healthy and goodbye